Hi, this is future Joanna. I just finished this workout, so I'm all hyped up and amped up. I'm gonna put the workout stamp here. This is the timestamp of when it starts. If you wanna just skip ahead, I totally get that. We need a chair today and a pair of dumbbells, and that's it for a full body workout. Otherwise, you know, we're gonna have a little chit chat. I wanna share something encouraging. I don't care who you are or when you're watching this video. I believe that this is gonna apply to you. I was feeling this in my life and praying about this next week. Just could not shake the word bold. I want you to think about this a little bit. Where and how in your life do you need to show up and be bold? For me, I was just like, wow, why don't I ever think of this word? Like, I feel like I'm confident, I'm energetic, but I'm not. I would not consider myself a bold person because bold means a little bit like aggressive. Like, I'm bold. I'm gonna go for this thing. I'm gonna take my space in the world and I'm gonna take what's mine. I'm going to step forward where I might cower back, you know? So I just wanna encourage you to be bold, to step forward in what you are hesitating on. Maybe it's being bold in who you are and being unapologetically you or stepping into this new phase of you. I don't know. Um, maybe it's something you're doing with your business or a relationship and you've been like, ooh, very, I don't know. Be bold. Let's go get a great workout on. All right, you guys, all you need for this workout is a sturdy chair. Go ahead and place it, if you're using a mat, to one side of your mat, because that matters. We're gonna be using it like this. Grab yourself a pair of dumbbells. Let's take a wide stance to get started. We're just gonna shift our weight back and forth. So right, left. Doesn't have to be big. You're just kind of getting everything used to moving. And we don't wanna shift too much weight forward to the knees, especially if you have bad knees. So make sure your weight is backwards in the heels. Okay, just a few more. If you can start to get your feet a little wider, get a little more stretch in the legs, that's a good thing. Slow it down, we're gonna add a little twist and straighten all the way in the middle. Twist, and you can look up to the back hand if you want, or look to the floor, or look at me at the video. You got options, reach. Hips back, a little faster, keep the reach. You can really fling that arm behind you if you want, or just keep it a little bit smaller. Seven more. Tap in your breath. We're gonna turn into the chair, wherever direction your chair is. Grab it, get into a nice long lunge. Let's take a little stretch here, forward and back. Make sure that your knee is not overextended too far over that front foot. Pull your abs in, we're gonna take a little tap. Little knee repeater here. Just check that you're not up too high, this is gonna be totally pointless. Get low, a little faster, in, in. Pull your shoulder blades into your back, broaden your chest. Look up a little bit so that your neck is nice and long. You should get a little bit of burn in the supporting leg here. Good, we're gonna take it slower again. So I want you to go down for two, stand all the way up. Step the free foot on the chair and stand all the way up. Okay, take one more slow all the way down. Really going for full hip extension at the top of each step up. A little faster. Lunge, step, knee drive. So this is great for balance. You really have to plant the feet and be sure in your footing. Yeah. Keep going. Again, tap into your breath. Deep breath in, deep breath out. We got two more full sets. That's one. That's two. All right, step back to a high plank position. You can move your chair out of the way if you need. Step back and find your plank. Take a nice deep breath and hold. Squeeze your booty. We're gonna take some little shoulder taps just to get the arms moving now. Kind of similar to like we were, what we were doing with the legs. Whew, I'm already out of breath. That's good. It should be hard. All right, four little taps, two little push-ups. Just keep them small. There it is, two little push-ups. Cross them about halfway down today. Four taps. Four, three, two, two push-ups. Down. One more set like that. Four, three, two, one, two push ups. Down and up. 
All right, you guys, left foot forward or other leg, whatever leg you have not done. Find that little lunge stretch. Sink that weight into the foot. On the repeater. In, out. So this is where you want to keep your hips low. Keep your shoulders back. Double side. In, in. Pull with your abs. Try to massage your stomach a little bit. Lift your thigh. Chest forward, lift your chin a little bit. So we're looking straight up. Now we're gonna slow it down. We're gonna take it down for two. Stand all the way up through the hip. Step and knee drive. Half three. One more time, slow. It's worth it just to get the stability and that connection to your brain. A little faster. Ready? Down. Step. Sure footing. Knee drive. Woo. Down. Step. Drive. Down. Woo. Again, breath is really good here. Keep the focus and the stability. Down. We're going. Two more. All right, last one. Down. We're going to come up this time. Just flip around. Our knees to the chair. Ooh, my shirts are curling up. All right, flip around. I like to hold sides of the chair like this. You're welcome to hold the front. I just like this for my wrists. We're gonna do some dips. All right, so first let's find a good position. We're going to have bent knees today. Nice 90 degree angles, shoulders back, down for two. Down, two, up, two. Now, I don't know if you have a mirror at home. I don't have one right here behind my camera, but I would be looking at your spine Pretty much goes straight down the chair, meaning your hips are not up too high. See what happens to my upper body. One more slow down. And up. Singles. There we go. Down. Inhale. Exhale. The shoulders, the front of the shoulders will rotate all forward a little bit, but don't take that into your chest. Okay, so not, none of that. Eight little pulses, and we'll take a break to stretch the wrists. Seven. Six. Oh, I get stuck. One, three. Four, three, two, one. Hips back to the chair. So just stretch out your wrist. I don't care if you don't have wrist problems. Usually this gets a little cranky. So just roll them around a little bit. We're going back in. Okay, a little tempo work here before we're down to the floor. Count for three, count slow. Three, two, one. Press and stretch. Three, two. Now try not to snap through your elbows. Try to lengthen through the joint. Down, two, three. Good, singles, four, three. We're gonna reverse that tempo, so we're gonna go down in one and up in three. Ready? Let's wait for the music. Down, three, two, one. Down, three, two, one. Ah! Okay, you got two more. Down, three, two, one. Eight little pulses, you guys are laying on the floor after this. Eight, seven, six, oh, the burn is so good. Three, two, one. <sighs> okay, grab your weights. We're coming down for a classic bar tricep set. I want your legs to 90 degrees at tabletop. Zip your abs in, weights overhead. So we're gonna start with one arm at a time. Direct your right thumb to your left shoulder and bring it back up. Other side, nothing happens through the shoulders. A little faster, down, up. With the feet lifted, you should have a little bit of instability through the torso, through the trunk, and that's nice. So really focus on your core, keeping everything stable. Let's do a few more. Down, up, down, up, one more. Okay, glue your weights together. Let's just go with two count skull crusher and up for two. Make sure your shoulders are in your back. We're gonna add the legs. Toes drop away. Down, two, up, rest, down. It's a lot of coordination, at least for me. To bend at the elbows, but hinge at the hips a little bit. Okay, a little faster. I'm not gonna do anything with my legs. In fact, I'm gonna put them down, because I wanna focus on the triceps. Inhale, exhale. Make sure the weights are going right to the top of your head not your forehead. Good, hold it 90 degrees. Just stay there, pull your heels a little closer. This time we're gonna bridge up for two. 
down for two. Now you're welcome to separate the weights here if that's a little better angle for your elbows. I'm gonna go ahead and do that myself. All right, a little faster. Exhale, squeeze, release. Go ahead and close your eyes. How deep and connected can you be in your movement and your workout today? Exhale. All right, hold at the top, set your hips down, feet back up to the top. We're going back to the beginning, we're gonna add a foot. So if I'm going right thumb to the shoulder, I'm gonna drop the right toe and vice versa. So the same side, arm and leg are moving. All right, let's go a little faster. Bend, stretch. This is great for your brain. Keep your abs in tight. Shoulders down. Just four. Four. Press. Three. Press. Two. Okay. One. And let's go ahead and stand up right away. Whoop. That was a lot of energy. I'm gonna need some water. Getting hot in mouth. Okay. Keep your weight. This is where I'm gonna double up. So I have fives. If you have a 10 handy, you can just grab that instead. I'm gonna double these up because I want a little more weight. So I want you to take, I'm gonna take my left leg back and the weights in my left hand and use the other hand to hang all the way over and push into my chair. Nice flat back. Give me a good row. Now my favorite cue for a row like this is to pull to your hip rather than your rib cage. Because look what happens if I pull to my ribs. My shoulder really wants to hike but I want to keep that shoulder down. Good, a little faster, about halfway contractions here, all the way up and halfway down. I'm pushing into the, um, what is this, <laughs> the chair with my opposite hand. Pull and hold, give me an exhale. Pull and hold, all the way down. Exhale, exhale. Let's check our stance. I want that back leg really bent. I see this a lot and it just puts the positioning in a weird spot. So bend like you're gonna sprint. Back to that little pulse. Eight, seven. Hold in the hip, drop the shoulder. Four, three, classic triplet. There we go. One, two, three. Push, two, three. If you aren't used to using a little bit of a heavier weight, doubling up the dumbbells. Give me a nice challenge. Two more. So I'm gonna ask you to do the unthinkable and ignore the music. Just for up. Tight abs. Shoulders down, push the opposite hand in the chair. Nice. Oh, roll the shoulder back. I want you to hold your arms at 90 degrees with the one with the weight. Hold it there. Take the back leg and step it up. We're going to take a little step up and step down. I'm looking for a 90 degree angle here, not like this. A little faster. Yeah. I use this other arm like I'm doing the robot. Yeah. Barbie arm. Squeeze. Keep your shoulder back. Good. All right. So we're going to add the bicep in. Two more. We're going to slow it down for just a second. All the way straight through the arm. Curl. Let it down. Curl. Let it down. All right. Let's do two more slow. Really focus on the bicep connection. A little faster. Exhale. And you can always drop to one weight if you need to. Four more. Good. All right, another 90 degree hold. Stay. Now I'm gonna rearrange my chair. Try to keep this 90 degree hold. It's just fun. All right, I'm gonna have a seat. So are you. Raise your pants, 90 degrees. Palm up, open. Okay, try to hold that. You can always rest if you need to. Other leg is gonna flex right here. I want you to sit at the front of your chair. You're just gonna do a little bit of leg extension. Good. So I want you to kick out. Look down at your quad. There should be quite a bit of activation there. You're sitting up really strong. A little faster. Whew. That got my heart rate up, and it's not coming down yet. So with this exercise, we're taking out the hip flexor. We're trying to really focus on the quad. All right, now leave it straight. Load those weights to your shoulder. Press up for two. Up and down. Now I want you to add the lift of the leg, but it's like you're gonna lift the thigh off the chair. Up and down. 
a little faster. Up and down. Keep going. From the side, you would just be lifting up and off the chair. It doesn't have to be high. It does have to be long. Okay? Up, down. Up. Let's do four more. That 10 pounds gets heavy. Two more. Two. Okay, 90 degrees through the arm, eight pulses over to the other side. Eight, seven, six, long leg. Four, three, two, one. Woo! Okay, other side. So I'm gonna go ahead, flip around this way. You can move your chair as well. We're gonna start from the rows on the other side. So pick it up with your other hand. Get some water if you need. Right leg back, weights in the right hand. Let's start that stand. So this side, how funny, I wanted to stay set up with my back leg long. If that's you too, make the conscious effort to bend it. Just puts your back into a really nice flat position. We like it. Remember, row to the hip, keep the shoulder down. You want to feel the low kind of side back where your lats are, about halfway. Squeeze, squeeze. Exhale, pull and hold. Push this hand in, it provides a good amount of counterbalance and stability. Good, little triple. Take it up, one, two, three. One. Get into your body here. Be specific with how you're squeezing, how you're working, how you're moving. All right, ignore the music. Off we go. Maybe you're still slow with tempo. Maybe you're just going crazy. Good. Two more. Nice. Okay, 90 degrees. Try to hold it. We're gonna step forward with that leg that was back. Sorry for this bruise on your leg, by the way. Stand up for two and down for two. Does that ever happen to you where you just, you don't remember doing anything, but this really gnarly bruise appears and you're like, when did I walk into a really sharp corner and not remember it? All right, ready to go faster? I'm thinking around a little faster. Ah, yeah. ah, woo! Gotta use my Barbie arm here. Oh yeah. Check your 90 degrees. Don't cheat and let it be up here. That's too easy. All right, four more. Legs and arms. A good use of your time to combo muscle groups. All right, let that arm down. Two count curl with your step up. Okay, hit me with a few slow. Connect to your bicep. This is not a throwaway move. Curl and release. Here we go a little faster. Curl. Oh my gosh. Ten pounds. Keep them up. One. 90 degrees. Turn around to your chair. Got a seat at the front of your chair. Hold that weight. Little kick ups. Now just look at your quad. It's a good time to be wearing shorts. Oh, we didn't rotate our palm and open it up. Into the quad. Not the hip flexor. A little faster. Kick out. Long muscles. Okay. Seven more. Load the weights at your shoulders. Get ready to sit up tall. Straight leg lift. Up for two. Up. Two. Down. Two. Doesn't matter if the leg doesn't lift too much. It's just a challenge for that whole side of your body. Go faster. You can do it. I'm telling myself that. Yeah. Four more and we pulse. Keep the legs straight no matter what. None of this. Okay, eight pulses. We can do it. Eight, seven, six. Sit up nice and tall. Three, two, one. And release. Okay. We are moving into some calves, and then back of the legs and abs. Again, let me remove the shorts 
from my nether regions. Don't you hate that about shorts? Why do they crawl? So I'm gonna put my chair to the side again. I'm gonna get some water. Ah. My bicep, man. All right, so just a nice light touch. If you're using a shorter chair, that's fine. Fingertips can be down. Let's start parallel. Zip everything up. Just a classic rise and drop. This is nice. Nice little relief. Shoulders back, you're like, man, I'm crushing it today. Look at me, get my workout in a little faster. Try to think about ankle mobility, like just loose, highly functioning ankles and feet. Long tailbone, a little bit of squeeze through the touch. Same tempo, all the way up, halfway down. So just that top half, getting into that squeeze, top of the calf. Double time when we're changing positions. Push, push, push. Just that little, almost bouncing lift. Nice open shoulders. Take a plie. Let's turn out. Heels together, toes apart. Lift and lower. Little more inner thigh action here as we rotate. Down, don't judge my lack of turn up. It's there somewhere. A little faster push. Still thinking like just mobility, okay? So just popping the ankles up nice and loose. Top range up, halfway down. Push, push. Ribs are closed. Toe is long. Double time, 16. Ooh, we just have one more position. We're gonna pull away, lean over the chair. Four, three, two, one, plie. Okay, pull away. Push your weight into the chair a little bit. Hips go back. So like someone just pulled your hips. Should feel like a nice little stretch here. Pull up your kneecaps. Bing. And we're gonna lift and lower from here. Now, I don't know, again, if you have a mirror at home, but try not to slouch and round over your chair. Flatten your back. So stick the boobies out. Stick your tail out. Pull up the quads. We'll look down at your toes. A little faster. Up, up. Up. This kills. I can hardly lift my heels off the ground. Good. All the way up, halfway down. You can do it. All the way up, halfway. Push. Push. Okay, we're going to try to do those 16 double time pulses. I'm dying. 16, 15, 14. Keep your back long. Three for it. You can do it. Let it burn. Four, three, two, one. Take a stretch. We earned it. So just a little calf stretch. Back leg straight, front leg bent. Deep breath into each calf. What is it about calf raises? They never get easier. Okay, so I'm gonna take a weight behind my leg. I guess I'm gonna stay profile so that you can see what we're doing. Where the heck are my weights? There they are. So I'm gonna start with my left leg first. That might look like the right leg. I'm not sure. I'm gonna tuck the weight behind the knee. Now, I just want to have a very slight forward lean. Scoop your abs in, that's super important, and then start to push the leg behind. So if you can see in the video, my movement is fairly minimal because of the scoop through my abs and the slight tuck forward through my hips. If I wasn't, look at what I'm doing. And I feel like I'm doing a lot, but it's not as effective. All right, little pulse up, press, press. Try to stay pretty light in the, in the supporting leg that hip can cramp a little bit. All right, up and hold. On that little hold, I want you to practice scooping. Scoop through your abs. One more. We're gonna take this into a little bit of a turned out open diagonal position. So I'm gonna come all the way down, rotate my leg a little bit, and then we're gonna go out, two, in, two. So from the front, the angle, definitely, I'm definitely taking my knee to kind of that back diagonal. That makes sense. Keep the scoop in the abs open. Close, single count. Now this one to the side will challenge your supporting standing leg, and that's okay. We wanna build strength there in the hips and the glutes to take pressure and work out of the back. Two more. So stick with me when that starts to cramp. Little balls up, up, up. Good. Four more, we're gonna take this to a deeper dive. So knee comes down again, I'm gonna hop back and I'm gonna go as far forward as I can to almost a flat back. Re-scoop the abs back to parallel. Lift, lower. Now try to find your glute. I feel both sides like crazy, and that's an awesome challenge. 
We're gonna give this supporting leg a little break in a moment. Two more. Okay, a little pulse through the ceiling. Squeeze, squeeze. Tuck and scoop through your abs. Flex your foot for this last little push. Push up like you're stamping your foot to the ceiling. Up and hold. Two more. Up and hold. You guys, last set of eight pulses. Press that leg high. Eight, seven, six. We're gonna drop the weight and switch legs for a little relief. Two, one. Oh, so take that weight out. The back leg is gonna be your standing leg. Turn it out, cross your other leg behind. This is not a big curtsy lunge, so zip it in. Plie down and then rotate a little bit to your front leg. So I'm gonna take the other hand to my glute to feel it. I want you to go up for two, down for two. Now get into your butt here a little bit. The, you'll feel both sides of your glutes, but especially the glute to the leg that's in the front. So I talk a lot about this, but I want you to pull and wrap. Squeeze your glute and find it. Pull up and in, hips back. Hips forward a little bit. Okay, a little faster. Squeeze, down. Another good cue that works in my brain is pulling my sit bones together. Together and apart. Together and apart. All right, I'm gonna take this a little bigger. We're gonna take it down for two, and then we're gonna tondu the foot out to the side, down for two. Now, just in case you can't see what I'm doing from the side angle, I'm crossing over, and then I'm pulling the hip under, as I come to a tondu. A little faster. Yeah, squeeze. So you should definitely feel both cheeks here. Hips go back and forward. Stretch, contract. Stretch, contract, stretch. Good, slow again, we're gonna take it to a passe. Curtsy lunge, drop the tailbone as the foot comes to passe. So that back toe just comes to the side of the knee. I'm hinging at the hips, squeezing my butt. Forward, double time, bring it down. Allow your heart rate to come up a little bit. Hips go back, forward. Good, two more, four, three, good, two, one. Just a quick stretch. I'm gonna go right to the other side. And here's where the challenge lies. Both sides of my butt are already tired. We're gonna go to the other side. Which means the supporting leg is gonna be challenged. It's okay. This is just a nice short set for the back of the booty. So other leg has the weight. Just a slight lean to start. Scoop through the abs, super important. Start that press back. Bar is so internal, so I would really encourage you to do less and do, do it better, not harder. So if I'm really tucking and I'm pushing against my own resistance, actually let's stay here for a little longer. Connect with your body. Find that scoop, little pulse. Squeeze, squeeze. You should be shaking because you're so deep within the contraction in your own body. Good, push and hold. Push hold, little down, push hold. Little down, push hold. Good, back to those pulses and we're gonna turn it out. Eight, seven, six, so this is that little diagonal. Go ahead and bring your knees together. Open to that back diagonal and down. Now, I'm sorry, but both of your butt cheeks are gonna be crying in the best way. Open, close. I'm waiting for my beat. Open, close. <laughs> sorry, I'm gonna keep up there. A little faster. Out, in, back diagonal. So you're a little bit externally rotated. Going back, little pulses. Squeeze, squeeze. Oh, my cheeks, I'm trembling. Good, bring it down. Hop it all the way back. Nice and long through the body. Find that scoop. Press and bend, here we go. Uh, oh my gosh. So it's super normal. I just wanna reiterate that a thousand times that if you feel your supporting legs like crazy, it's not bad, you're not doing it wrong. That will get better, but it's stability. Try to fill both sides. Ah, oh, little pulse. Press, press. So this one we have the hold. And those eight more pulses. Ready? We can do it. Press and hold. Up. Press and hold up. You got two more holds. Don't drop your leg. I want to, but I'm not gonna. Eight pulses. Eight, seven, higher. Six, five, 
four. We're gonna switch legs. Three, two, one. <sighs> okay, so the back leg is now your front leg. Cross the back thigh. Curtsy lunge. We're getting low. Twist if you can. Let's come up for two. Up, two, down, two. Try to find that front glute. It'll be both sides. But poke around, see if you can get the muscle to activate a little faster. Pull. Really squeeze your butt together like you're grabbing a little rock off the ground. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Good, slow it down again, down for two. Deeper, here we go, brush to that tondu. Down, and I'm still twisting, I'm still driving my hips back and then forward and under. Forward and under. A little faster. Back, squeeze, back, wrap, back, wrap, four, three, brush, two, slow it down again. We're going to passe, this is our last variation. Take it down for two. Hips back, now really wrap and squeeze. Bring that leg to passe. A few more, crank those glutes. Pull the sit bones together, down. Now let's just get our heart rate up a little bit, shall we? Down. You can turn over the front leg, look with your head. Down. Three more. Good, last one, you made it. Good, not a super long, uh, where's this skate me? Had a super long glute set today. We're headed into abs, and that's it for class. So I lied to you, can you get a ball or a pillow? I just love that with abs. You don't need need it, but it's gonna support a few things, okay? All right, let's lay down. We're just gonna activate first, so I want your ball on your thighs, or your pillow, or I don't know what else you have at home. I'm assuming you have a ball. So heels pretty close to the bum. We're gonna push against the ball and pull the stomach up and in. Exhale, push. Inhale. Exhale, push. Inhale. Now, if I didn't cue you at all through the stomach, I'm sure that you would feel what's happening. As you push naturally, your abs retract. You don't have to think about smashing your low back into the floor at all. Just think about lengthening pulling the belly button towards the spine and up through your rib cage. A little faster, exhale, two kicks, release. Make sure your butt is now off. Release. Three more. Give me two. Good, we're gonna lift one knee 90 degrees and push into, into that knee. Inhale, exhale, push. Release. Inhale, exhale. That flatten and that pull, that's your priority. Pull out the breathing, a little faster. Exhale. If you feel this little bit in the top of your thigh and your hip flexor, that's not bad at all. Those need to be strong too. Sometimes when we have cranky hip flexors, they're just weak. We shouldn't avoid those exercises. Now hold, you're gonna push it just a little bit, like halfway, hold it. Lift the other leg up, we're gonna drop it down for two. Up for two. That's so hard for me. As you drop, push into the ball. I'm just checking to make sure my diastasis recti isn't popping out. Okay, one more slow. You can always modify with a bent leg. I might have to. A little faster. So push into the ball. Exhale. Okay, keep the leg low. Just push into the ball. Six, five, four, three. Two, one. Ah. Other side. Leg up, exhale, push for four. Three, two. Now try to empty your lungs. A little faster. Release. Release. Good, now hold. Leg up to the ceiling, down for two. Down. Two. Ah. Two. My foot's gonna bend down. Push into the ball. Sorry I'm not cueing you a lot. I can't talk really at the same time. Good, a little faster. A little down, 
little up. If you have to bend your legs, I think I have to. <laughs> All right, stay low, little pushes on the ball. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah, that's so hard for me. I hope it's easier for you. Okay, ball is going under the hips, so toss your legs up. Set your ball underneath the tailbone. Give it a good wiggle. That just feels nice. Ooh. Abs in, legs up to tabletop. Now you can have hands to the floor, hands around the ball. Go back to that single leg drop. Down, up, down, up. Now you want to find the same feeling that we had when we pushed into the ball. Pretend like you're pushing into the ball, the abs retract as the leg lowers to the floor. Two more. Before we go to two feet, we're just gonna do that exhale, pull the belly into the space between the ball and the floor. Exhale. Inhale. Try to feel like your ribs and your hip bones getting closer together. Exhale. Now keep them on lockdown a little bit. Both toes down and up. Exhale. So I used to exhale on the way up. Now I'm just trying so hard to control my intra-abdominal pressure with my ab split from babies that my breathing is different. So I hope that doesn't mess you up. Two more. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, legs up to the ceiling, just a few little reverse curls. Take them slow. Up, down. Now don't throw your legs to the ceiling. We've done this before. You've done my classes before. But so deep. Push your back into that space again between the ball and the floor. A little faster. Push. Almost like there's a little triangle between your pubic bone and your hip bones and everything's squeezing into the center right there. Four, three. Now keep your legs straight. Drop one leg and hold. Two, three, four, five. Now this leg is going to get heavy, so pull it in. Switch and hold for eight. Eight, seven. If hamstring flexibility isn't your jam, just bend your knees a little bit. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Switch and hold for four. Counts. Three, two, one. Switch and hold four. We're gonna do that tempo again. Really pull, pull, pull through those lower abs. Switch and hold. This one takes a while to feel, but it's good. Switch and hold. Okay, two counts. We're almost done. Switch, two. Switch, hold two. Switch. Now we're gonna go to singles, you know it. Give me a few more slow. And when we're going fast, I don't want you to fling your legs all around. Control is your, your utmost priority. So I'm gonna start switching, but I'm gonna keep it kind of small. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Through those low abs. Eight more. Eight. Shoulders down. Seven, six, five, scoop. Four, three, two, one. Hold it in. Ah, my lower abs are on. Take the ball out, set it to the side. Let's just do a few crunches to finish. These are mindful crunches. Hands behind the head. Exhale, curl up and down. Now I want you to close the eyes, your eyes, the eyes, the eyes of you, and just trust that there's nothing exciting happening on the video right now. Just listen to my cueing. Keep going with those single crunches. Be such a stickler. Relax your butt, relax your back. Just feel like the top Maybe four. Rectus abdominal muscles of your sits back are contracting to flex you forward. Leave most of your back on the floor. Just a little curl. Good. Come up and hold. Pull your belly button farther up and in. Up an inch, down an inch with the upper body. So you're just going deeper into that crunch. Elbows are wide, neck is relaxed. Lift, lower. You should be shaking. If you're not, you can pull deeper. A little faster. Here we go. Up. Up. Again, flatten and lengthen the low back. Pull the belly button towards the spine and then up through the diaphragm. Up through the rib cage. Five, four, three, two. Legs are going up. Now this is optional. If you don't like this, you don't have to do this. You can cross your legs. Go ahead and take that single count curl again. Legs can be tabletop. Legs can be straight up or at a diagonal. Or if you take that, feet flat or legs long. Okay, <laughs> lots of options. Come up and hold. Stay. Okay, we're gonna go deeper, just like we did. Up an inch, down an inch, deepen it. Find your body, find your own abdominals, squeeze. Down. A little faster, you got 16. Tiny, 
little contractions. I'm going to put my feet back down. I'm going to lengthen them all the way up. Ten, nine. Lengthen your low back. Belly button towards the spine, up through the ribs. Four, three, two, one, and that's it. Oh, give me a nice X position, a nice arch through your back. Good job. Let's flip it over and take a little stretch for the abs and the spine. So hands and knees, just one cat cow for a little pre-loosen. Give me a round and then arch and really try to stretch your abs more than your spine. So belly out, like that's not a cue in here very much. Good, so from there you're gonna lead with your pelvis, push forward, gentle in the spine. Again, we're trying to find the abdominal wall, which sometimes means you have to keep your butt a little bit looser. Good, open your knees. We're gonna press back to one child's pose. In that child's pose, I want you to wiggle your hips side to side. See if you can find your hip flexors in there. You can self-massage against your own hip bone, which is really nice. So give those hip flexors a little love. Back through to that forward stretch. Good, we're gonna take a really simple stretch today if you have time. Join me, I'm gonna tuck my belly into my shorts. So just one leg forward. Sometimes we stretch like this with the knee forward. I want the knee at least at 90 degrees, if not a little farther back. So you are gonna feel a little bit of an opening stretch here. We're gonna focus on leaning over the front of the leg. So this is just a general feel good stretch. Honestly, I have been liking this a lot in my own flexibility, so I'm giving it to you. We'll hit the glutes, don't worry, after, because that's what we actually use today. But one thing I like about this stretch is it gets my back and my ribs a little bit and my hamstrings, which are two areas that I find as I'm getting older are so stiff. They are just getting stiff, like just for daily, daily movement. So take a moment there, take a few deep breaths, hang your head. Just hang. Cool, nothing fancy at all. We're gonna switch legs here in a second. If you want, stay there. If you want to go a little farther, open that back leg into a really shysty, questionable split. That feels good in its own way to open the hips, but still stay leaning. And then if you're just an overachiever, then you can try to get into the splits. I don't know if I'm gonna do that today. Should I do that? Ugh. Whatever level suits your fancy. <laughs> okay, other side. Let's turn into it just to challenge our hips. Ah. Other side. Okay, so knee is at least at 90 degrees. We're open, we're twisting, and we're leaning over. Oh, so this is where the ribs and the back and the hamstrings, I mean, they just are all connected so well. And when one is off, we're just, I don't know if you just feel generally stiff. I just greatly dislike that feeling. I'm saying greatly dislike because my three-year-old is on this, this tangent where she, she doesn't want us to say hate. I don't know if she learned that from someone, but she's like, you can't say hate. We're practicing not to say hate. So I was gonna say I hate that, but I greatly dislike that feeling. So let's go a little farther if you can to a bad split. Oh. This is my theory is that your ribs and your back change so much when you're pregnant. If you've ever had that experience 20 years ago, 10 years ago, one year ago, it just like feels like my torso is so different, like in my ribs that I'm still working through opening that. And then a full split if you want to. Ah. Oh. I kind of just threw that at you. Probably everybody left at this point, but it's cool. Okay, let's just take one stretch for each side of the glutes. So I'm gonna take, it looks like your right leg, you'll mirror me over the knee. And there's so many iterations of this. What you're looking to do is just stack the shins like a log cabin. 
And if you're up here, that's totally normal. You're just gonna work on dropping the knee. You can sit up straight. If you don't feel this at all, lean forward. I'm gonna get there eventually. If you have a second to sit with this, let's sit with it. I'm not hearing any of my kids crying yet. No one's on the monitor. They should be waking up any moment, so I'm waiting for someone to walk through the door. If you can, walk forward. And if this is easy for you, try to flatten all the way down and then walk towards the direction of your top toe. So we'll do that in a second. I'll show that if you wanna to go towards that. Try to leave that knee down, so if you have to press it. Just sit with whatever version of that stretch feels good for you, drop your chin. Just stay, try to melt into the stretch. You know, I keep trying to tell myself stretching is just as important as working out, it is. Maybe not more, if not more, just for longevity of your body, but man, it is so easy to be like, I don't have time for that, switch legs. I just gotta get my workout in, build some muscle, burn some calories. So sit with your other hip. She's probably not the same as that first one. They're never the same. Try to work that knee down. Start your walk forward. Just spend a moment here, checking into your body. Maybe thinking about what you're gonna do after. Get your ducks in a row. If you took that side little twist, walk towards the toe, take it. We're almost done, we're done after this. So stay one more minute if you can. Sit with your body, let those hips open. Relax your shoulders and your face. Good, cool. That's all I have for you. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, wherever you are, whoever you are, you're amazing. Okay, go get it. See you next time.